What is up everybody? Rot Rod here. This thing is coming together really nice. I uh, I just rode it, did about half a lap around the yard, just as a uh, proof of concept, I guess. Garbage flat tires and all. And uh, it made it under its own power. It wasn't happy about it, but it did it. The, uh, the thing runs great. I have, uh, let's see, what have I done? I think the last video I just had it rigged up just enough to where it would run. Um, still not complete. I don't have a fuel line or petcock for this tank yet. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> um, this little carb, I've got to play with it and get it adjusted right, but it worked enough to, to see if the clutch was any good. Even just with the chain on it, the, the clutch seems pretty happy. Um, I may have to adjust some out of it up here, but as far as in the case, it, uh, Seems like it'll be okay. I think for right now I'm going to start polishing things. Um, got a long way to go before um, before any of that really matters. But, but whatever. For right now it is a it, it's a run, running bike, so that is awesome. I. Uh, I honestly don't remember what I had uh, what I had going on in the last video this morning, but uh, I made up a battery tray. This is just gold um, heat tape, mainly for the underside of it. I have did it pretty much all the way around, but the battery's in there. I got it. The reason it's on his angle is so that I get, a, get could get it as close to this frame rail as possible and away from the pipe. I may make an additional heat shield in there just to keep as much as I can away from it, but we'll see what happens. I, uh, I did delete the, basically the start circuit. So the, it has no cable going to the starter solenoid and I took the one off the power supply to the starter is uh screwing with it here i made this little uh i'll show you my rig here how i was getting fuel in it it kept uh the spillage to a minimum i've got my premix in there that holds for air and then this hole with the zip tie in it i just have the zip tie down in the the nipple on the carb and majority of the fuel ran down the zip tie instead of trying to figure something else out but that way I could fill the bowl and see if it was running or yeah see if it would run see if it would charge all that good stuff um, but the thing runs um, See, I don't want to run out too much because I don't want, I mean, I don't really care what the neighbors think, but I also don't need the neighbors hating all of us because of me, if that makes sense. I just wanted to make sure we're neutral so I don't smash into a garage door. Ignition on. Switch hands so I can get some throttle on it. And that's probably where it ran out of fuel. But, uh, yeah. Even if I've got to kick it a few times, on this bike, to me, 
it's not even worth wiring the starter up. I mean, it's it's a 50-year-old dirt bike. If it gives me problems, so be it. It deserves that. <laughs> um, I am so happy with the progress I've made so far. The uh, the tack works. I have my charging light. It's just grounded there. And I did play around and send power and made sure the ground is good. So, so that'll be my charge light. That will eventually be the neutral light. I'm not super worried about it. I may just leave it. Um, I think the next thing is going to be sprockets and chain. But uh, right now I want to see what I'm going to have to do to title it. Um, the Vermont loophole is no more. They, uh, they've changed a bunch of things around and, and changed some things back. Um, basically, they still do not issue titles past 15 years, but you have to have some sort of connection to Vermont. I'm sure if you went there and walked into the DMV, it might not be a problem, but you can't just uh, mail them in a bill, bill of sale anymore. So I, I squeak by with one bike, but it's not going to work here. So there are other ways. I just got to do some research and decide what I want to do. Overall, I'm I'm so happy with the way this bike has turned out. I'm going to clean up my tools and garbage out of my brother's truck and uh, may play around with it a little bit but I may end up uh, may pull the battery out and park it and mess with the Enduro a little bit who knows for tonight uh, while I got all my chemicals I may see if I can get the wheels to polish up make it a little more presentable but whatever. I do still have uh, a couple little things, especially the petcock. I want to get at least the petcock in the tank and a line to it, if nothing else. Um, yeah, that's, that's our progress for the moment. It may, it may get parked for a little while while I figure out paperwork, because I don't really have a good place to ride it. I mean, I could, but like I said, I, I don't want the, that field out there isn't really ours, and I don't want to cause any trouble. So if I can find some trails, I'll get it back out and run it a little bit, but uh, till then, I'll just wait till I can figure out a tag for it. Um, I think that's about all I got. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time.